Hey, hey, and welcome to another episode of Work Smarter, Not Harder with me, Tony Harmer. And in today's movie, what we're going to look at is making a maze like the one you see here. And we're going to do it in about five minutes. So let's get started. The tools we're going to be using today are the Polar Grid tool, the Direct Selection tool, which you can tap A for on your keyboard, and the Shape Builder tool, which you hold down Shift and tap M. So we're going to start in a new document, and we're going to get the Polar Grid tool. Now that lives with the Line tool over here next to the Type tool in the toolbox. So I'll choose the Polar Grid tool, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click. And I'm doing it that way this time because what I want to do is do this by the numbers. So I'm going to make this around 333 millimeters. There you can use, of course, whatever measurement you want. I'm going to have eight concentric dividers. Actually, I might dial that down to about six just there just for now, or even seven. Let's go that way. Let's have an odd number. And I'll have 12 radial dividers, and I'll hit OK. And that draws me the following grid, like so. I'm just going to center that up on my artboard. What I'm going to do now is increase the stroke weight there to make it nice and heavy, okay, so that it's nearly the same size as the gaps in between. Although that's something I can also fix later on, so I'm not too desperately worried. Just hitting return there to apply the change I made to the stroke width. And I'm going to get my direct selection tool and click away, first of all, to deselect everything. And then click anywhere on this outer line segment. I'm then going to hit delete twice once that segment's gone, once the remainder of that path has gone. So we've got something here that looks a bit like a spider web. And what this is going to do is give us the entry point to our maze. That's why we're leaving these bits poking around the outside. So with the selection tool, I'm going to select the entire lot there, and then I'm going to take these paths and turn them into outlines. So I'm going to use Alt-Command-O to do that, or if you need to, go to the Object menu, choose Path, and then Outline Stroke from there. Okay, now that's done, I'm going to hold down Shift and tap M, and that gives me the Shape Builder tool. Now by default, this is in add mode, but I'm going to hold down the alt key here to take it into subtract mode, and I'm going to determine the point of entry to my maze by just dragging across there, and you'll see that with the alt key held down it just removes those shapes. Now I no longer have a need for all of these spokes now around the outside, so I'm just going to drag around them like so, just to remove, it doesn't hurt if you stop, if you make a mistake you can just undo, Okay, or you might just want to click on them if that's easier. Then all you have to do here is basically to knock out the parts that you don't want to keep. So if I remove this part here, for example, and I'll go around here. So I think I'll clear all of this side like so until I get towards the top and I'll drag through there. That's going to be my next point of entry. I'll leave this one here and this can be sort of a false path there. So I'll make another chunk out just there and then I'll make an entrance to that just here so my user might well come along and go in there and think ha ah, and then they'll be blocked just there and then they'll go along and of course they've got nowhere to go just up there so I just need to knock that one out like so and then they'll realize that they're completely dead-ended just there as well and you just go through this and remove all of the bits you want so for example I'm just going to push through just there, that's going to be my next point of entry, so I no longer need this piece here, 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 and so on. Okay, and I might determine that I'm going to have another point of entry like there maybe. Okay, and I'll just leave one of these on this side, I think. So let's just take these out. There we go. And it is really, really quick and easy for me to build this out. So now I can drag through another point of entry. So I'm going to do that, I think, maybe over here. So let's pop that in there like so. And you pretty much do the same thing. There's no uh, right way or wrong way to do this. You just do whatever makes sense for you. You might want to plot it out beforehand. You may need to have several different goes at doing it. I'm just getting rid of the extra bits just there. And I might even create another point of entry there. Why not? doesn't matter. As long as I've got the bits that lead around, 
And you get the idea, right, that you can just come along and just punch these bits out as you need. So I'm going to punch out a bit more there, drag through a point of entry just here, and then remove all of the other bits I don't want there, which would pretty much be the whole shooting match there. There we go. In fact, what I might do is just undo that one just there. I'm going to knock this one out instead. I'm now going to zoom in on the middle here. So I'm just going to hold down Command and the space bar. That would be Control space bar on the PC. And I need to knock out pretty much all of this middle apart from the point of entry, which I will make just here. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt key with my Shape Builder still selected and come into here and remove those bits. I then want to get rid of all of this stuff. And here's a little trick. If you hold down Alt to go into Subtract mode, and shift at the same time, then you can drag a marquee and everything that marquee touches gets deleted in one go. And then you can just do a bit of cleanup like that. Let's do Command-0 or Control-0 on the PC. There's a couple of bits there that I need to fix, for example, just get rid of that bit and that bit. And just check it out, and once you're happy that it's all good, all you need to do if you want to make it one continuous path is go to your Pathfinder, and then use the uh, Unite or Join Shape Mode just there, and that's it. That's all done. Now, you might notice there's a lot of anchor points on there. Now, the best way I have of removing those is I use the Smart Removal Brush from Astute Tools, okay? And you can see here that I've got all of their tools installed, and this comes with PathScribe because this is just amazing. You watch the vectors just disappear over there as it recalculates these paths. It makes it so quick to clean that up and the path is completely as it's drawn. It doesn't have any loss in fidelity at all. Uh, but you can find out more about that at astutegraphics.com. There's our maze just done. If you want to color it up the same way as I've done here, all I've done is use one of the gradients from the metals set just here and then mixed my own for the background there we are make sure you subscribe reach out to me via twitter follow my facebook page all of those details coming up in just a moment keep on watching and until next time see ya